Let's compute the integral of sine root x. I think when you look at this, your instinct would be to do a substitution, and you'd be correct. So let's start with doing that, where I'll say, I'll define a variable t is equal to root x, and the, so dt is equal to 1 over 2 root x dx, and then when I multiply 2 root x to both sides, I get 2 root x dt is equal to dx, and this is just so I can match what I have in my original integral. And I've already defined root x as t, so I'd have 2t dt is equal to dx, and now I can rewrite my integral in terms of the variable t, and so I have, I'm going to take the constant 2 out, so I have 2 uh, integral of t sine t dt. Now what? It I can't integrate this just simply. I have to apply another integration method to continue solving this. And the integration method that I will use now is integration by parts. Because I have two parts. I have this t and I have this trigonometric function. So integration by parts is the most logical way to approach this. Where I'm going to say, and obviously... Um, integration by parts, my integral is set up in two parts, u and db, and so I have to make a choice of what is u and what is db. In this case, u would be t, and db would be equal to sine t dt, and if the reason or if the way I chose this is not obvious, you could refer to previous videos where I've explained a little bit why we make this, these choices, or with enough practice you get familiar and it kind of becomes an instinct as to how to choose. So anyway, u is t, therefore du is just dt, and dv is equal to sine dt, so you just integrate sine t, and that gives v, which is negative cosine t. And now you can plug it into your integration by parts formula, which is, and I'm going to write that down here, if you have an integral in, the, in this form, then integration by parts dictates uv minus v du is the way to go about this. So with my defined u and dv terms and v and du, I can plug this in. So I have the first part, the uv part, is t negative cosine t minus the integral of v, which is cos negative cosine t, so I'm going to pull that negative out so it becomes plus cosine t du, which is just dt, and this whole thing is multiplied by 2, let me not forget that constant, that is pulled out over here, and all I have to do now is just integrate this little integral. And the integral of cosine t is pretty straightforward, that's just sine t. And so I end up with 2 negative t cosine t plus sine t plus c. But I'm not done. Because that is not the original variable I started with, I have to write everything in terms of x, where t is root x. So rewriting my whole integral in terms of x and I'm also going to be distributing the 2 just to make things look nice. I have 2, negative 2 times t, which is root x, cosine root x, plus sine root x, or sorry, 2 sine root x plus c. And that's it.